Okay, hello. So, it's been a month, and I think I understand now why I shouldn't wait three months to do a video. Um, the, preview, the previous, excuse me, video to this one really didn't get the response. Uh, my previous videos to that uh, have received, and, I, and it's because of that. It's too much time in between me doing these videos. So, this time it was a month. Uh, which is a lot less than three months and just to let you guys know I'm still here I'm still doing it I'm gonna try to make it you know once every two weeks at least so there's some kind of consistency and you guys don't think that I went away I have received all of your comments and I do believe I've answered all of them if I missed any please let me know but I, I, I get them in real time so as soon as you guys send me those comments I get them in my email and I, I try to answer them right away. Uh, this is another Arabian look, as you can tell. And I just, a little necklace here that I have and, uh, as a head jewelry. And then this, I know I keep calling it headgear and I know that's wrong, please forgive me. But this is another Arabian look. As you guys well know, if you've seen my other Arabian videos, I'm in love with this makeup and so, I did watch, uh, I believe it was a wedding Arabian video, and it was a lot more toned down. Uh, I did not use the same color scheme, but I tried to do a wearable. So this is like a more wearable, like you can go out with this, everything, uh, if you're going out. The previous ones were so exotic, I would say. And a lot more makeup was involved that I would feel uncomfortable going out with the amount of makeup in those videos. They're more meant for photos, photography makeup, and there's there's a big difference. So I tried to make this one more wearable. The bad thing about me doing that, excuse me, on camera is that you guys don't get the full effect. So I'm going to try to see if I can... Hopefully, um, I try to get under, you know, proper lighting so that you can see the colors as I see them. That doesn't always work out, so um, I try to use, you know, when I'm when I'm doing fixing up my photos. Um, I, all I really do is make it so that the lighting is different and you guys can actually see the makeup. And that's really at the touch of a button. So that's all I really do. Uh, you get these pictures pretty much. It, this is the way that it looks, and this is what you get. So I don't change my face. I don't. This is not photoshopped. Just in case, because I do know I, uh, that that that's going on a lot. I like to give you guys the real thing. The only thing I know I have to change is the brightness of the makeup you know in case I, I end up in bad lighting and you guys cannot see what you know after I do all this work what the makeup actually looks like the real colors so that's what I will definitely you know uh, edit other than that you are getting the makeup as I apply it this, just as I apply it there's no Photoshop and there is a new product that I used, and this is uh, some highlighters, powdered highlighters. I didn't use any liquidy products, so like I said, this is more, um, that's why it didn't take me that long to do the face. This is more for if you want to go out. This is very wearable. So, the, uh, the eyes are a little exotic, but that's Arabian makeup, period, as I've learned. It, your eyes will be a lot more exotic. And I even noticed they use a lot of colored contacts. It's not something I would do, but if you guys like that, go for it. There are three different lipsticks I used to do an ombre type of effect on the lip, which is a very in thing. And so one of them is by, and I've used this one before, uh, it's very matte, it's called Matte Glam, and this is by Milani. And then the highlight one, the one that went in the middle, is by Wet n Wild. And um, 
it's got a number on it. I can't read the color. It's, it's just got a number. It's very, very light pink. And it's a little glossy. And then this one here is by NYX. And they have a whole set of these. I, I've spoken about these before. Uh, these are high voltage uh, sets. And they have them in really crazy colors. What I really, really like about them. And also that... Uh, although they are creamy, they stay. They, they have really long staying power. Which is not usually the case when you're using creamy lipstick. But anyway, um, there was some glitter involved, and in the video, I pretty much, I believe I was pretty careful about, you know, going through what I was doing step by step, with the exception of the brows, which were done before I even started filming using um, the Maybelline Brow Define, I believe it's called, and my LA Colors powder palette. That's why it looks like this because I love it so much that it's like crazy looking. And of course the Arabian eyeliner look. And I just did one. You can't see it that much on this eye unless I close because this eye is a lot more hooded than this one. Ooh, this thing is moving everywhere. Um, and let's see. I did a medium, you know, this is a really good product, I'm going to buy another one because I've had it for a little bit, but this is medium to full coverage and, and, and it gives you a very nice velvety finish, this Lumi Cushion Foundation. And guys, I think, wow, that's pretty much it, aside from um, the fact that I just wanted to let you guys know, I will try to do these more often because I know the reason why my video before this really didn't receive you know the amount of attention that the ones before that did is because I'm not filming so you guys think I've gone away somewhere and I'm never coming back so I'm gonna try to close the gap so the gap between the one before and the one before that was three months and then from the last one to this one is a month so Probably in a couple of weeks, I will more than likely, maybe less, uh, post one. Like I said, this is a one-woman show. It is not easy to do this. I have high respect for, you know, the the big YouTubers that really dedicate themselves to this. Um, even though I know they have help, and they have lots of help, and I don't. So, it, it, it's not easy to, you know be a one-woman show when you're doing this it looks like it is but it's not so I'm gonna try really really hard you know to be a little more consistent for those of you who I know come back and watch and I don't know if I already said this yeah I think I did in the beginning I have received all of your comments and I love receiving them please don't stop I, I love 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 the interaction so please keep doing that because it lets me know that either you A are enjoying this or B you're not. Either way, as long as you're not nasty about it. And guys, I, I honestly think that's it. If I've missed anything, I will I will mention it in my narration. And until next time, bye bye and thanks for watching. Okay, so here we go. Obviously, I am preparing my lids and again that is a NYX concealer I use that in just about every video so for those of you who are new this is a NYX concealer NYX does have their own bases um, I personally just like the concealer better but you can purchase your own NYX base for pre eye eyeshadow application and I am using a concealer brush to do this, synthetic brush, and that is under the eyes because I will be putting eyeshadow there. And then here is the Age Rewind concealer I'm also using. Um, this is a nice dupe for the concealer I was just using, and that's really what I'm trying to show you by using both. And then this is an LA Colors. Um, blending brush. It's a big 
fluffy brush and starting with my first transition shade which is a very light tannish color from my Morphe palette I'm, I'm going for a really round rounded shape which is why you see me going so much outside uh, the eye space uh, where the eyebrow ends that's about as far as you really can get away with going with your eyeshadow and then this mauvey pinkish tannish color it's a beautiful color um, it's got pink undertones and that sort of is like a secondary it's gonna darken up the the upper part of my socket area so this is all still above the crease and again under the eye that's why I'm still using the big fluffy blending brush to the large area I'm, I'm still working in and then I'm gonna take these two colors and this is from the BH cosmetics palette and that was like a sherbet along with an orangey shade and together they make like this very pretty again um, pinkish orangey type of shade as you can see and then I'm getting really really close to my lower socket area here so I'm blending each color into the color before making sure that you have no hard lines and creases in your shadow so take the time to blend again that color goes under the eye and then I'm going over that with a very light tannish shade just the 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 seams of all of the makeup and that's just to make sure again I have no harsh lines anywhere you can also just do that with a clean brush and then on the brow area I am uh, putting that light pink shimmery shade it's very very pretty it's got a, like a metallic um, texture to it and then again you see I'm going over the the reams or the ends of all of my shadows I did that after I cleaned the brush after I put the brow bone shape and now I've dipped this and you see I'm using a different uh, brush and it's also a lot smaller this is a brush by elf it's a little bit angled and it's the equivalent to your Mac I think that's the 217 or 214 one of those and those were two pinks that when you combine them are more like a reddish shade like a really uh, poppy cherry reddish shade and then using another elf this is a big blending brush I am of course blending everything out I take a lot of time doing that. I cut that out of the video because it was already long enough, but I, I take a good amount of time blending and going over everything. And I apply each color at least twice, no less than. And that, of course, is because I'm on camera and you guys need to see. Now this, I've dipped into a brown. This is a very pretty brown because it's got a very rich texture to it. And so I, I believe that it's got an undertone to it, and I believe the undertone is a reddish or an orangey undertone. And so I'm putting that in the same area where the pink is. So I'm blending that right under uh, the reddish, hot, pinkish colors. So you can see I'm combining. And you can see the richness of those two colors, especially the one on top. So I believe there is a reddish or an orangey undertone in that color. It makes it very, very beautiful. I am now using a pencil brush. This is by e.l.f. Because I'm working in a much smaller area. And this is to create definition and drama. To give the eye that shape at the end. And since I'm going for that more rounded eye, which is not really, you know, the shape I usually go for because of the shape of my eyes. But... In this case, I, I think it came out quite nice. 
So I do this again several times and then I'll go over it with a fluffy blending brush just in that small area and blend all of that out. And I'll do this a couple times, several actually in my case. Again, the reason is I need intensity. Um, if I were just putting on this makeup to go out, I'd probably just do it a couple of times and leave it at that. So again, the same thing. It's just doing it a couple of times and perfecting my work. I'm a perfectionist, so you know I'll go over things. And please excuse the state of my hair. It's so gross. I mean, I just I didn't even bother combing it out to do this, as you can see. And so again, blending. But this is not a, a video about hair. This is what we all look like when we're trying to get ready to go somewhere in our bathrooms. So, um, this just I'm, I'm I'm now noticing it. And um, now I'm gonna dip into that really really bright, like violety, loud, poppy purple. And I'm gonna blend that into the brown. And that makes for a very, very interesting color there. So I kind of like, I don't know, I liked it. And I kind of like made up my own little color there at the end. And I think it looks really, really pretty. It's like you can, when I turn my face, you can see both colors, the brown and the purple. So it's, it's really pretty. And so here goes the alternative way to not using the pencil technique to do a really... A, a, a really defined cut crease and here with my next concealer I'm just concealing um, the areas up to the part of where my shadows end as neatly as possible and then you'll go over that with a clean concealer brush and just um, soften out the edges then you want to really really quickly because this sets if you don't um, grab your color, which in this case is the same pink I put on my brow bone and this rusty coppery color. And the coppery color goes in the middle of the eye and the pink that's on my brow bone, that shimmery metallic pink, goes in the very corner where the tear ducts are. There you go. Using again uh, a concealing synthetic brush. That's the best way to pack on those colors. And you want to cover all of your concealer. And don't let any of that show. And then I'm going to take the, that black in a second and go over the, the black shadows. And blend that into the color I just applied. So you want to just smooth all of that out. And then this here is a pigment by LA Colors. And it's like a goldy, coppery shade. So I thought it was perfect. Put it right over. And I put it in my tear ducts as well. So it's like a highlighty type of color. And also went great over the coppery shades that I placed on my lid. And then again, you want to blend that out. Then with the black and an angled elf brush, a real tiny one, I'm going over that. And then with the elf uh 214 MAC dupe brush blending that out until it's all nice and soft and there you don't see any lines or any striations in your eye makeup. Then I'm taking this Urban Decay purple eyeliner and putting that in my waterline just on the bottom. Again, that's a really pretty, pretty color, and uh, Urban Decay eyeliners stay. This is waterproof. And then I've already here done one eye eyeliner-wise, and I've also put on some glitter, and obviously I chose the gold. And that's to intensify the copper in the middle and to mimic the Arabian look. They always use some kind of glitter. So using a Q-tip, I am... Applying that right over the coppery shades. I'm careful not to go out because if you do, then you're going to have to grab your eyeshadows and, and redo your shadow. So just stay within bounds. And then using a 
this brush came with the Maybelline. This is the um, Maybelline gel eyeliner that I'm using, and that brush came with it. And I'm starting with that. And then I used this e.l.f. angled brush for more precision. And this is going to be the Arabian eyeliner look. So this is the best brush for me to, to get that effect. And then using the e.l.f. liquid liner, I finished that off. And it's got, of course, a, a very big, like, kittenish um, uh, eye at the end where it's got that long flick at the end. And then you'll do that, of course, in the tear ducts. And this brush is so fine, which is why I prefer this liquid liner. The brush is so, so, so fine. You can barely see it, but it's perfect for making those, those tips, which you have to make when you're doing this type of eyeliner, this Arabian one. And then to the face. I'm using an e.l.f. primer and the Lumi cushion I've used before and a beauty blender which is a little bit wet not soaked wet and uh, that's a kabuki I'm sorry lost my train of thought that's a kabuki brush by essence of beauty I've had for some time and it's my favorite for applying liquid products and I'm sure you guys have seen it before it's my favorite favorite uh, blending brush or brush for putting on foundation liquid or creamy foundations and then I'm going over that with my wet beauty blender and then here with the age rewind I'm not trying to highlight today so I just use this as my concealer and I this is the trick with the vitamin E that I do um, I just open the capsule, take out a teensy little bit because the in that area my skin is really, really dry. And without it looking oily or greasy, I'm able to soften and smooth all of that out. And then just put a little teensy bit of translucent powder. Any kind will do. And then here goes my brown crayon that I usually use to do my contouring. That's because it's really, really creamy and it's easy to blend. I don't know who makes this. I've had it for some time. Uh, but you can get one anywhere. It doesn't have to be this one. And I'm putting it in the regular places. I, I start with the Beauty Blender. But then I grab me a, a buffing brush. And this is also by Elf. And, and it's really dense, so it's great. Dense and soft all at the same time. So it's great for blending in a creamy type of products and for this exact issue. Um, also bamboo brushes um, or tiny kabuki brushes are good for this as long as they're dense. And then I'm going over that again with my beauty blender. This is a wedge. You can buy these anywhere. And they're, they're not expensive. And then this is a highlight stick that I have, and it's kind of like uh, pinkish. It's very shimmery, so you can barely see the pink in it. It's just a nice highlight. And then I'm going to go over that using my favorite fan brush with the Milani uh, highlights. And I used two to start, both of the ones on the end. And then this is um, an e.l.f. Um, you can use this to contour or to add color to your face, which I don't do that much. The, the, the bronzing uh, thing that people do, I, I don't do that very much. I do contour quite a bit. And then with the Artisan, this is like a whiny, almost reddish blush. 
I've used this as eyeshadow many, many times. There goes the bamboo kabuki brush I was talking about. And um, Echo Tools, I believe, makes those. And then I'm going to use the middle shade of the Milani highlights. So I've now used them all for a lot of highlight. I love highlight to the face. So my face is very highlighted. And then to the lips. And these are the three colors I spoke of. This is Very Matte by Milani. And it's a, I don't know what it's called, but you can't miss it because it's very, very purple and matte. And it does say so. And then with a purple liner, I'm getting everything nice and perfect. I have very funky shaped lips, so I, I have to do this a couple of times before and after. And then this is the Wet n Wild light pink that I use as um, a light color or a highlighty type of color. And then the next cream neon purple right over that. And guys, that's pretty much it. Um, except for I do put a gloss over this by LA Colors just right in the middle of the lip. Go over it with some more liner to perfect it. And here it goes. It's a pinkish, but it doesn't come out that pink. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. See you soon.